Hey guys, you are watching Aurora's vlog. Today, I will show you how to change your EPN settings on your Mint mobile phone. If you have any issues with your uh, text, your recipient did not receive your text or you are not receiving any text and you are not also connecting to your data. What I'm saying is you're trying to go to search or YouTube or Facebook and you're not getting anything. I can show you how to do it because I myself did it myself. So I was Googling it, trying to figure it out what's wrong with my phone so anyhow if you want to see how to fix the problem stick around and if this is your first time watching aurora's blog please don't forget to hit like and subscribe this screen right here is my cell phone screen i found the best settings some of them they said that you know this setting works and some of them this doesn't work and so what happened was my cell phone did some update and guess what it was a t-mobile update because i originally with t-mobile and i purchased my cell phone with t-mobile so every update that happens comes from t-mobile so i did not realize that i was not getting any text i was not able to send uh text messages and i was not able to get any connection at all unless i'm using wi-fi so i realized i said wait a minute the the recipient that i sent the message to he said hey, you just sent this to me. I said, no, I sent that seven days ago. And he said, well, I just received this. I said, oh, that's weird. So I did some digging. What happened was when I had with my cell phone did some updates and it went back to the default, which is T-Mobile Networks. And I'm not T-Mobile anymore. I am Mint Mobile. So I contact customer service and da 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 And then, you know, they tried everything possible. Nothing works. And I said, I have to hang up. I got to go to work. I, I got to figure it out. So I went home and figured out and found the best possible setting. So I want to show you the very first setting that they uh, told me what to do. So I am going to my settings. And did you see this here? here? Click that one or tap that one and tap connection. Tap connection, which is the top one. Okay, then tap the mobile networks. Access point names, click on that one. This is what's a problem. It was the setting, it was in T Mobile US Lite. And I am not with them anymore. So, no matter, go, I try to go to my YouTube and Facebook. It says, You are not connected to data. Then I said, Oh my God, what's happening? And I went to the settings and it just showed T Mobile. I do not have the Ultra or Men. The Ultra is, this is when I call the customer service. This is what they give me. So, I want to show you this one why it did not work for me. But any other people, I went to YouTube, the same exact thing you might be able to copy this but th this did not work for me but i want to show you anyways it might work for you so let's click ultra in the name you're supposed to be putting ultra and ultra you have to start capital u and the rest is small letters click ok then you go to apn you type in wholesale click ok you leave the proxy blank and then the port is 8080 click ok you leave the user password and server blank and then let's go to this mmsc now if you go to mmsc you type in the whole link it is http colon forward slash forward slash wholesale dot mms mvno dot com forward slash mm s forward slash w e p a n c and click ok all right then you go to multi message proxy leave it blank the multi message media message port leave it blank mcc is type in 310 and then mnc is 260 click ok the authentication type just leave it blank or none and then the epn type just leave it default click ok your EPN, the other one is the EPN protocol IPv4. Leave that. And then roaming protocol IPv4. Leave that. And then the varier, you leave that as unspecified. Otherwise, sometimes people say the light will work for them. But I tried that. did not work for me. So you leave the unspecified. The mobile virtual network, some of them, they click this one imsy that did not work for me so i just click none and then you go to this 
this three dot here you tap that and you click save and then you will go back to your home page and restart your cell phone and that should fix the problem however it did not work for me and i tried and i tried and i tried and i was going crazy and I said what is wrong so anyway i found another guy on youtube and what he did he put ultra all small letters in the same exact step that he did wholesale 8080 all this all wholesale msmv and all uh the mc situation everything is the same and the epn type actually if you go here all right uh let me go back again so i want to show you mobile networks access point uh the ultra and then the epn type as you can see right here type default comma is upl comma mms and click ok however it did not work for me either but a lot of people say on the comments that it works for them did not work for me and this is already probably eight times that i tried different kinds of settings and i try to google what can i put with a barrier what can i put with mv and o type and so anyhow when i was done uh, restarting my my cell phone nothing works now so so i went back and i found this vest mvno.com when i was researching epn type or b rare meant mobile this comes up and what i found is they have two alternate there's the best one and the, the alternate is this the one when you know you put the port 8080 uh, default on epn type you know this one default comma supl comma mms and this works for others but did not work for me so if you did the settings which is the suggested epn settings alternate one if this does not work what works for me is this one suggested epn settings mean best mv and all verified this is the one that works for me so let me show you let me go back to this if you see this um meant wholesale i'm gonna click that one now in the mint name some of them put capital m and lowercase i have to put whatever they suggested here all caps so m-i-n-t all caps the epn is wholesale which is here and if you go down here it's also wholesale right and then the difference is that down here the port is 8080 on your alternate settings however in the vest of mv and all verified the port is empty it's not 800 so port i did not put 800 this is the one that works for me now you listen you leave the port empty the proxy empty the username empty password empty server empty then you go to mmsc the same exact one wholesale https oh this one they have the s and i don't have the s this still works you see this one I have I have HTTP and over here that what they suggested is with S. So either way you can try, but my ceiling as you can see this is the one that works very fast. So HTTP semicolon colon slash forward slash forward wholesale dot mms mvno dot com slash forward mms slash forward wapping w a p e n c click OK. And then the multimedia proxy is not set now leave it blank. And if you go over here, the multimedia also blank. And then if you go here, so they don't have that IP here, right? See? So the um, MCC, you type in 310, and it should already be there. And if not, type in the 310. The MNC is 260. As you can see, is matching in here. Click OK. Then the authentication type. Now, I do not have that. That's why it didn't work. It was just none so i found out right here that you have to put paep so tap the paep and then the epn type now this is what works for me because when i first tried the alternate one which is the one that a uh, meant mobile customer service provided they told me to put default comma supl comma mms that did not work but with this one as you can see there is no SUPL. It's only default, comma, MMS, then click OK. That is what's worked for me.
and then the EPN protocol if you if you go over over here EPN protocol none it was not set no you have to go if you want to work you have to put IPv4 so when you click that one so it's already set and then the the EPN roaming protocol IPv4 set that one and then MVNO type none MV no type meaning mobile virtual network operator type and you just leave it blank and then the barrier some people say do you slide but i have to leave unspecified because when i did the lte it did not work you can try it yourself but if it doesn't work do this one so leave it unspecified and then when you are done go to these three dots okay get to these three dots and click save and then go back to your home page restart your cell phone and that should fix the problem if this does not fix the problem for you you can try this one we'll put the link below so you can pick this one is the one that is the uh, most works with any cell phone but this one did not work for me and the top one works so anyways thank you for watching our rose blog and if you have any questions you have uh, any comments please don't forget to leave them down below and please like this video share it to your family and friends and subscribe if you haven't done so and thank you for watching our rose blog thank you i'll see you in my next video bye bye